In this video, I'm going to show you how to edit like Mr. Beast using DaVinci Resolve. And yes, that includes insane 3D text tracked to the background, the exact fonts that he uses, but I'm also going to show you how to build stunning 3D maps, just like the ones he has in his million dollar budget videos. Even if you've never touched 3D software in your life, you'll be able to follow along step by step and pull this off. So don't click away, your viral videos just leveled up. All right, before I show you how to do that 3D map, let's quickly go over the text because it's really quick and easy. So as you can see, I have a clip in the timeline and I'm just gonna head over to the Fusion tab. We're gonna hit Shift Space and add in a tracker node. We're then gonna drag this little box over something in the background. Then we're just gonna hit Track Forward. So now we're gonna go to Effects, Templates, and hit the three little dots and click Show Folder. If you double click Fusion, you'll see that I have something called 3D text in mind. This is something you can download in the link in the description. Speaking of the link in the description, not only will you find this awesome 3D text made by my friend Cloudboy, but you'll also find all of the fonts that Mr. Beast uses and all of the 3D assets I used in this video. So once you download that file and drag it in the Fusion folder, you'll see it appear in the bottom here under templates. We can simply drag this in and you'll see this appear now. And I'm going to change my font to one of the Mr. Beast fonts. And if you go to the letter settings, you can drag these sliders and it will change the rotation of the text. You can also go to the bevel node and change the color of the text. Now I'm simply going to drag the render node onto the tracker node, but make sure you select the tracker node, go to operation and select match move. I'm going to add a transform node in between these two and I'm going to size the text down and position it where I want it. I'm going to add in a magic mask and connect it to the tracker. I'm going to mask myself out so it looks like the text is behind me. Now at this point, if you want, you can add a soft glow to the text, but my favorite part is if you select the multi text node and go over to the multi tab, you can drag these sliders and animate the words coming in. And there's lots of cool different variations you can pick. Now I'm going to show you exactly how you can recreate this animation. Quick side note, if you're trying to master software like DaVinci Resolve or Blender, or even level up your creative or business skills, you're going to want to check out Skillshare. They got classes in everything from video editing, animation and design, to productivity, storytelling, music and sound. It's all taught by real artists, pros and entrepreneurs, not just random people. I recently took the Fusion and Blender VFX Masterclass by Ruan Lauder and it showed me what is possible when you combine Blender and DaVinci Resolve. Normally, I'd be bouncing between YouTube videos and still be confused an hour later, but this class broke it down step by step. Here's a clip I used for a client video. I started in Blender and finalized in DaVinci Resolve. If you ever hit a wall learning something online or just want a shortcut to the good stuff, this is it. The first 500 people to use the link in my description or scan the QR code will receive a one month free trial of Skillshare. Get started today. So first we're going to go to CGT Trader. We're going to type in Earth, select the free option and choose one we like. I chose this one that looks like a cube. We're simply going to select download. Next we need to find a crappy looking house. So I typed in shack. This one will do the trick. Simply select download. For our mid-range house, I just typed in house and chose one I liked. And finally, I typed in big house and selected a bigger looking house. Next, we're going to open up Blender. By the way, it's free. We're simply going to drag in our earth. We're going to press S on our keyboard and size it down. And if you click this little circle up here, you can see what it will look like with the textures on it. Next, we can simply drag in our first house and select import FBX. We can press S and size it down and then position it on top of the earth. Again, if we click this little circle up here, we can see what they both look like with their textures on them. Next, we're gonna press Shift A and click text. We can drag this up and in the object settings, we can rotate this to 90 degrees. Then we can simply place it on top of the house. If you press tab, you can edit the text to say whatever you want. In the text settings, we can increase the extrude option to give it a 3D look. And then we can click this little file icon and choose the font we want. Now we can simply drag in our other house and position it where we want it. We can select this text, right click it, and select duplicate objects. And then we can drag this over top of our new house. Now we can press tab and change the price of the house. Again, we're gonna drag in our last house and position it to where we want it. Again, if we press this little circle up here, we can see what it will look like. And once again, we're gonna right click on our text and select duplicate and position it over our new house. I'm gonna change the text to say 1 million this time. And now we can press shift space and add in a camera. We're gonna drag it back I'm going to change the focal length to about 30 millimeters. We can simply click and drag in the bottom corner to bring up a new window and then select view, cameras, and set active object as camera. In the camera settings, we can drag this all the way up so that all we can see is the camera view. If we select this little circle up here in our camera view, we can see what the final rendered product will look like. As you can see, it's a little bit dark. So we can press shift A and add in some lights. I'm going to select light and spotlight. We can drag this over top of our first house and position it where we want it. And in the light settings, increase the power to about 500 watts and then duplicate this across all of the homes. I'm going to add in another light, but this time an area light. I'm going to position it where I want it and rotate it facing up. 
change the color to a nice blue, and increase the power to about 300. I'm going to duplicate this and change the rotation. Now we can simply click and drag from the bottom up, and now we can animate our camera. On the first frame, simply drag your camera where you want the animation to start. Go to the object properties and simply keyframe all of the positions. Now go to the last frame and drag your camera where you want the animation to end. Now we can simply keyframe all of these positions again, select the two keyframes, and press T, and then select this, and it will smooth out our animation. Now you can play around with the render and output settings. The lower quality you make things, the faster it will render. I'm just going to do 1920 by 1080, and now we can select render and render animation. 